Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. After last night's events of the Miz taking out Roman Reigns, we have our first match announced for Monday Night Raw's 25th anniversary coming up to you on January 22nd. Of course, this is going to be coming to you live uh, from the Barclays Center in New Jersey as well. Oh, that's not New Jersey, it's Brooklyn. Fucking idiot, I'm getting used to this old WrestleMania 29 talk and that rumor of basically... Uh, you know, them going back there for WrestleMania 35 with the whole, you know, WrestleMania takes place in New Jersey, but new WWE acts like they're going to New York. But, um, you know, they're going to be uh, having Monday Night Raw coming to you live from the Barclays Center as well as from the Manhattan Center um, down the street from Madison Square Garden where Monday Night Raw was first born. Uh, the first match named, of course, is going to be an Intercontinental title match. This is going to be the Intercontinental Champion Roman Reigns going up against The Miz. Um... They've been going back and forth for a little while, but Miz took some time off um, to go on the USO tour. And I think after that, he went and filmed some sort of a television slash movie deal. Is it the reason why he hasn't been on Raw the, the past few weeks? And we've only seen Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel um, acting like idiots out there, sort of without a leader. Um, to me, I've, I've always sort of thought that, you know, somewhere down the road, Roman Reigns has to get this intercontinental title off of him. And... Um, you know, you know, a lot of times when guys are going into a lot of times when guys are going into big matches at WrestleMania, um, sort of the heat in order to uh, maybe think that they're not going to be able to get the job done is have them be beat shortly before WrestleMania. Because I think everybody is on the plan of knowing that Roman Reigns is going to WrestleMania to fight Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. I mean, Brock has a big match uh, at the Rumble going up against Braun Strowman and Kane, but that sort of looks like uh, just. Kane's going to take the fall on that one, and, and Strowman looks strong um, to go forward from there. Brock still have your championship. Uh, then, of course, Monday Night Raw is going to have the Elimination Chamber in February. That'll be where you crown your number one contender. That's where Roman will win and go on to WrestleMania to fight against Brock Lesnar. Um, but, uh, you know, somewhere along the line, you know, Roman has this Intercontinental title because I think they had big plans for the Shield um, to do something. I'm not sure if the Intercontinental title was going to play into the Shield breaking up with you know Rollins or Ambrose wanting the title um, and that that's what, what led to them breaking up again um, but this shield run of 2017 um, going into 2018 it was just <laughs> I they, they never even really got it off the ground right away Roman was injured they had to take him off of the TLC card and that's where you know the shield was going to have their first match then at the last minute when Roman comes back they have this match at the Survivor Series going up against the New Day that nobody cared about um, and then when they come out of that and they're getting ready for something you know Ambrose is down and he's going to be out for nine months I understand that they were saving the shield reunion for something special um and they didn't really get it, but these guys are so young, they're going to be around for a long time. Uh, to me, um, The Miz is one of my favorite guys. Uh, I know, you know, I talk about this a lot when I talk about, you know, Dolph Ziggler winning the United States Championship over on SmackDown, that, you know, we always keep thinking that someone's going to win this title and make it mean something like it used to when we were a kid. To me, honestly, The Miz is the Intercontinental Champion. is it, possibly the biggest this title is going to get. We've seen, you know, Daniel Bryan win it around the time of WrestleMania 31. And, I mean, as far as, you know, with Miz, he treats that Intercontinental Championship like it is really the World heavy, Heavyweight Championship or the Univer Universal Champion. You know, since Brock has had the belt... You know, this is the one belt that is on the show that means more than anything. If you go back to when Brock was champion last time before WrestleMania 31, Rollins was running around with that Money in the Bank briefcase. And, you know, he was in the main event of Rawls week after week and was treated like he was the main event guy. But there was no belt to even cash in on. So as far as, you know, the guy that's on every pay-per-view, he's on every house show, he's on every television show, um, this is this is why Miz cashes in and is looked at as, as one of the best wrestlers that there is in WWE right now because... He can always talk the smack, he can always back it up, and, and he finds a way to always get into it. I really believe that Raw 25, The Miz is going to win his uh, championship back. Um, and of course, you know, Roman's going to go into the Rumble. He's going to look strong. Um, something's going to happen where he gets tossed out. Um, that's probably going to be one of the biggest spots of the whole thing, is trying to find a way to get Roman out of the match. Um, and you know not not hurt what's going on there but i'm looking forward to this match to raw 25 it's going to be a big one miz versus roman uh, and this is possibly 
or Miz is going to win that championship back.